I have a confession to make. I love classic Sonic the Hedgehog. This is Delta Zero of Living Vicariously HD, and these are perhaps the coolest blind boxes of all time. And I believe I'm a bit of an authority on the subject considering how often I review these dang things. This is Sonic the Hedgehog Vinyl Minifigures by Kid Robot. Kid Robot are a company that make designer vinyl, and then they do original designs as well as licensed stuff, like our friend Sonic the Hedgehog. I spent more money on these than I have ever for any blind box related item, and I don't care, I'm a madman. Uh, it's 2017, Happy New Year, everybody. Got a ring in the new year with Sonic. I got a ton of these things today. I also have these uh, vinyl minifigure keychains, which actually are quite different from those. There's a whole different lineup. Uh, lots of cool ones in this that I really want, so you'll have to wait for that one. So we start out here with Tails, who is not in Sonic 1, but this box is mostly based on Sonic 1, I think. So you have Tails waving, 3 out of 20. Tails flying, 2 out of 20. I really want that one. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog running, 2 out of 20. There's Dr. Robotnik, Dr. Eggman, however you know him as. There he is, 2 out of 20. There he is in his little Eggmobile, which is pretty cool. 1 out of 20. That is the beetle enemy that you, one of the first enemies you see in Sonic the Hedgehog, 1 out of 20. And 1 out of 40 is a mystery item, and I know what that is, and I'll hopefully remember to tell you what it is at the end of the video. <laughs> um, let's see who we got over here. We have Coconuts. I don't know that guy's name. I don't know his name. Uh, Coconuts is 1 out of 20. That purple dude is 1 out of 20. Uh, Buzz Bomber, I think, something like that. B-17 Bomber. I don't know. 1 out of 20. The octopus guy, is he in Oil Ocean Zone from Sonic 2? I know he is. I think he's from Sonic 1 as well. I don't remember. It's been a while, people. Uh, 1 out of 20. 1 out of 40 for this kind of scary-looking pixelated Sonic the Hedgehog. 1 out of 40 for that. That's a really rare one. Uh, classic Sonic Pose, 3 out of 20. It'd be cool to get that one, too. And then the Piranha Chomper, another one of the very, very early robot enemies you'll come across. 1 out of 20. Uh, I believe that's the lot. If you're a classic Sonic the Hedgehog fan, this is pretty much a dream blind box. I grew up with Sonic. I grew up with Donkey Kong Country. Man, if they made a Donkey Kong Country, I think I'd buy two sets of them because I'm a, like I said, I'm a madman. So without further ado, let's get into this blind box. Very excited about this. Got my scissors that I'm going to carefully use to open this blind box. Okay. These are so cool looking. Oh, look at that. Join Kid Robot Online. Okay, I will. I actually got these on kidrobot.com. Uh, no pamphlet. They don't waste your time with that. It's on the back of the box. Okay, so I don't know who this is. Wait till you see the bases for this. If you don't know what the bases look like, you're in for a treat. Come on, somebody I would like, which is almost anybody, so that's kind of a win-win. Here's the base. It's a it's a ring, vac metalized, I believe is the industry term, with a clear plastic center and a place to put the figure. That's very cool. Who do we have? All right, we got the uh, very uh, common but very cool looking Sonic the Hedgehog pointing, wagging his finger. That's pretty cool. These are actually uh, hollow feeling. They're very light. I didn't expect that. But they're bigger than a lot of uh, blind box stuff you'd find. I actually have this Sonic the Hedgehog figure I got several years ago. I have no idea who made it. They used to sell these in Toys R Us all the time on the cheap. Very articulated. Uh, well, somewhat articulated, I guess. More than these. These are just statues. So let's compare these two Sonics. Um, uh, they're both pretty good. Um, this one's kind of got... Uh, the paint is a little... It's hard to see on camera, but you can tell they painted over the blue which you kind of expect. Let's look at the quills in the back. Pretty cool looking. Put them in there, and there you go. Sonic the Hedgehog right there. I'll get a good close-up of this later in the video so you can check it out. I am happy with that so far. All right, so that's probably the most common one. I hope I don't get a, a duplicate considering I have a couple of these. So let's jump right back in here. All right, we got one of the ones I wanted, so let's hope we get Flying Tails next. Or perhaps the mystery item. Okay, uh, feels different than that one. That's a good sign. There's the ring. They're all the same ring base. Okay, it felt different than that one, despite the fact that it's the exact same figure. <laughs> uh, that's bound to happen, I guess. Um, well, there you go. That's disappointing. 
So yeah, there's another Sonic the Hedgehog. This one's slightly better painted, I think. This one's got a little bit of the airbrushing effect on the eyes. It's kind of fading off. All right, well, yay, duplicates. <laughs> Please don't be a duplicate. All right. Come on, I want tails. I gotta get tails. You gotta give me tails. Okay, now I know this one feels different. <laughs> that feels way different. I was kidding before. Wing base. And, oh, it's tails. It's flying tails. All right, I got two of the ones I wanted. That's not too shabby. I know that these are both very common, so you're not really getting anything special in terms of, uh, you know, rarity with these. But, man, I actually really wanted flying tails, and I'm super happy I got them. Look at that. That's awesome. Uh, like Sonic, he feels kind of hollow on the inside, but he's got this cool again uh, propeller effect. Flying tails. Oh, it'd be so... I love uh, Tails' animation in Sonic 3 where he's where he's uh, swimming underwater. He's got like the determined, the determined face and he's doing the doggy paddle. That'd be cute to get if they'd ever do a, a second set, which they totally should. I love this. This is awesome. All right, so kind of a bummer that I got a duplicate, but oh well. And just for a clarity's sake, the rarities are both the same, I believe. No, no, this Tails is 2 out of 20. So this is the common Tails. You got a 3 out of 20 chance to get him. This is a slightly less common, but still common. Tails flying. And then you have Sonic down here, 3 out of 20. So, hey, you know what? It's all right. It's all right with rarity. I don't collect these because they're worth a lot of money or anything. They're just fun to collect. This is from the same series as the Sonic I showed prior. So, very similar look. I mean, it is Tails. This one has a much more white... Uh beard for lack of a better term now, although this one's tails are just normal i love this little figure so i'm happy with this you know tails flying in the wind this one's got blue on his shoe or at least on the rim of his sock and that one's just the straight white cool nonetheless put him on his base he just squeezes on there just like this and then there's the, there you go there's tails flying in the wind, running towards Sonic because player two is far too slow to keep up with player one. That's what that depicts. I won this Chaos Emerald, and uh, I, I like to think it's a Chaos Emerald, that I won at some carnival or wherever. Actually, I won in a casino, in some kind of game they had there, so there you go. There's uh, Sonic, classic Sonic, and Tails with the Emerald. But now we get to look at the keychains, which are equally as cool as these, I assure you. So let's take a look at those. I am back with some keychains. This is Kid Robot, Sonic the Hedgehog, vinyl keychains. These are much smaller, as you can probably tell by the size. Um, and let's take a look at these. Just get right into it. So, as you can see, these are totally different than these. You have uh, tails running along, it looks like. Two out of 24. You have this cool-looking Sonic emblem, which would make for a great keychain. Two out of 24. Sonic laughing hysterically. <laughs> Reminds me of the uh, cartoon, probably. Uh, 2 out of 24. Sonic uh, probably dying right there. 2 out of 24. Sonic in a running pose. 2 out of 24. 1 out of 24 for Coconuts, who has returned from the previous vinyl pack. There's actually quite a bit of these. I didn't realize. Okay, here's Flying... You know what? Look at this. There's Flying Tails. He's uh, the exact same looking thing in here. 2 out of 24. That guy, the spiny enemy, I remember him most from Sonic 2. I haven't played Sonic 1 in quite a while now that I'm looking at these. Uh, 1 out of 48, so fat chance of getting him. 2 out of 24, Eggman, Robotnik, whatever, in a, a Eggmobile. All right, down here in the far left, we have Sonic taking a poo. 2 out of 24. Uh, we have the uh, Buzzy Beetle, something Beetle. 1 out of 24. Uh, Buzz Bomber Hornet, the Hornet guy. 1 out of 24, also returning. But this is um, Caterkiller. I know that one. That's from the uh, Marble Zone stage. One out of 24. I actually would, would really like to get him. I love his design. He's just like a caterpillar made of balls and spikes on the side. I always thought his design looked really cool. Uh, one out of 48, you have the classic Sonic 2, it looks like, um, pose where you get to the end of the stage, the sign that spins around. Here we go. This is cool. This is, um, I believe that's the Mega Drive, Sega Meta Mega Drive. And this one doesn't have a, a clarified rarity. It's question mark out of question mark. You don't know what it is. I'm sure it's going to be super rare, though. And down here we have the Sega Genesis. The original, not the Model 2. I had the Model 2 growing up. 
One out of 24, the Sega Genesis. That would be awesome to get. And it's actually a pretty decent likelihood of getting it, too. A mystery thing that I can only assume is a game case, probably for the, uh, the PAL regions. And then you have Sonic the Hedgehog Classic Sega Genesis game case. One out of 24. That'd be awesome to get, too. I like so many of these. I don't even care. Um, geez, any, any of these are, would be cool, really. I mean, Sonic laughing hysterically, the emblem. All right, let's open our first keychain. Could a robot often do vinyl keychains to accompany their more uh, popular items? They have the Yummy World, which is a pretty cool line based on uh, characterizing food. And they have keychains for that, and they have actual vinyls uh, in this large size as well. So, who do we have? This, these ones don't include bases, as they are keychains. Okay, we have Tails uh, running, it looks like, is this the one. That's cute. It's very tiny. So let's get a good macro look at this one. Tails running away, briskly in the wind. He's got both his tails out. So this is different than the one I got, because the one I got is flying away. And this is an actual metal keychain. Seems pretty high quality. And you can uh, take it off of this part right here by clicking that. Attach it to your own, or do whatever you want with it. These are very tiny little keychains. Glad my camera's picking it up so well, because it's hard to see. <laughs> uh, pretty cool. I like it quite a bit. I'm happy with that. Let's check the rarity, because I don't remember. So, Tails Running is 2 out of 24. It's one of the more commons, it looks like. Yeah. So, there you go. So far, I'm a, I'm a common man right now. I'm Dusty Rhodes up in here. All right. Let's open this next one. All right, can we get a Genesis? Can we get a Genesis or uh, the game case? That would be awesome. Oh my God, I got a game case. Yes. Oh, this is sweet. I didn't know I had a bat. I just saw this as the, oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting excited, everybody. <laughs> it has the back design and everything. That's awesome as hell. That is cool. Okay, let's, what's the rarity of that? That is uh, 1 out of 24, so it's uh, slightly less common than the rest, it looks like. Most of these are 2 out of 24. All right, these are awesome. Look at that. Does that open up? No, that'd be crazy if it opened up and there's a little Genesis cart inside. I love this. I think I'm actually going to put this on a keychain, too. Wow, that is crazy. That is like a complete recreation of the original. I don't know how close I can get this have it show up. There you go. Look at that. That is impressive. Definitely a figure. This is not the Genesis. Can't tell who it is. It feels like it might be a Sonic. I don't think it's going to be one of the baddies. And we, okay, we have Sonic laughing hysterically. <laughs> Look at that. That's funny. You don't see too many figures of Sonic laughing and pointing. I don't remember what that's from in the game. It's been a while since I played Sonic 1. I think most of these are based on Sonic 1. So, yeah. That's cool. I'm glad. You know what? I got a Sonic and a Tails in both of these. And I got the Sonic Genesis cart, or game case, rather. That's pretty nifty right there. So that was a successful blind boxing, I would say. Let's check his rarity real quick. Sonic Laughing is a 2 out of 24. Very common. But we got the somewhat uncommon one, and I do emphasize somewhat with that. Uh, all right, so uh, before I forget, this uh, mystery one, I know some of you are waiting with bated breath. This mystery one is actually a metallic ring on the Green Hill Zone uh, stage pattern, and it looks really awesome, and it would probably look fantastic on a shelf. But it is similar to uh, the texture you'd see here. So, All right, let me reposition my camera, and let's have one last look at this awesome set of vinyl blind bag or blind box figures. All right, here is a close-up view of the lot for today. We have Sonic wagging his finger. We have Tails flying in the air. We have the duplicate Sonic. Shame on you for being the same. We have uh, the Sonic Genesis game case, which is probably my favorite. Tails running and Sonic laughing hysterically at something. He's laughing at Tails. Ha 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 ha, you're not as fast as me, Tails. You'll never be as fast as me. That's a fun story you can have with your keychains if you get these. You can get these at kidrobot.com. You can get them at Amazon, I believe. They just start stocking them. Again, they are a bit of a premium you got to pay for because they are designer vinyl. 
But, I mean, these things look fantastic. I'm going to love having these on my shelf. And at least one of those on my keychain. I typically don't like a lot of stuff on my keychain, but this thing's flat now. It's probably going straight on there. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching. I'm Delta Zero of Living Vicariously HD. If you like Sonic the Hedgehog, look forward to Sonic Mania. It is the upcoming 2D side-scrolling Sonic game done in the classic 16-bit uh, style. Headed by um, Christian Whitehead, I believe is his name. He recreated the Sonic games for mobile and actually made Hidden Palace Zone, which was like one of the earliest video game lures I remember of like lost levels that were never to be made. And he uh, got permission to recreate it and it's in the Sonic mobile games and he did a fantastic job on those mobile games. So I'm super look looking forward to Mania. Comes out quarter two of 2017. So have a happy new year, everybody. Thank you for watching. I do blind box stuff all the time. So if you like that stuff, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment if you're interested in learning more about this channel or these Sonic the Hedgehog vinyl figures.